describe this nine month journey? A journey is a good way to put it. It's been uh, it's been amazing. It's been a lot of fun. I mean, ever since in February, I, you know, late uh, January when I found out, and uh, the ride has been one high moment after another. And it's been a lot of fun, obviously for me, but my family and, and close friends and people around the organization. And and I, I can't say enough about the Jaguars organization, how special they've made it. So it's been it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, these are guys I looked up to, wanted to be like when I uh, was a kid growing up. And then you're in the room with them and, you know, guys like Mean Joe Green and, you know, Larry Zonka. And, I mean, these are the greats of all time. I got to meet Jim Brown just shaking his hand. It's like, ah, that's pretty cool. It was, so that was a lot of fun. I mean, there's so many special moments like that. I mean, I think about even the weekend up there, all the fans that came up from Duval. I mean, that was amazing. So it, it's been a, a, just a great experience. Tony, one of the first times they honored you at the stadium years ago, your kids were little, you and I were doing morning radio, and the next Monday, the first thing you said to me was how cool it was, Andrew was just a little guy then, the look on his face when they had honored you here. What's it been like getting to watch your family have this joy as well? It's been awesome, I mean, because my kids were so, you know, half of them were even born when I yeah, played, yeah. and uh, the others were so young they don't remember because my career got cut short. And so for them to experience this and to be around it and present during the whole thing, I mean, I think it was just as big a deal to them as it was to me. And that made it fun. And uh, obviously, Angie's been here along the entire ride. So for her to uh, be right there next to me on this part of our journey together is uh, really important too. Being, being able to see some of this with you, I found out this, there's a lot of Baselli's. A lot of there's, there's Baselli's everywhere. The last thing you said in your speech was you thanked your dad. You've mentioned your dad often, but you thanked him for teaching you about family. You're a family guy. Everyone says they're a family guy. You're really a family guy. How much of Tony Sr. is in you and is who you are? Well, I mean, I think like any, any person, I mean, their parents have such a huge role. It can be positive. Some, unfortunately, sometimes it's negative. I was very fortunate. Like, it was such, my parents were such a positive experience in my life. And, and, really instilled the importance of family and my dad uh, that was it for him I mean family vacations family time together weekends I mean as long as we were together he was happy and uh, so that's part of me and I'll say this Angie probably reinforces it more because I think she loves family more than I do and so for us as a unit to be able to do this and then our extended family all my cousins came and brothers and sisters and um, it just made it really cool because to me there's nothing more important there really isn't because you know all the possessions and everything we have is ultimately going to disappear but those relationships with your family and your close friends because i consider that family too um, are the most valuable thing in my life you're from colorado by way of california you've lived in houston you've lived in nashville but this jacksonville connection is real how did this relationship between tony baselli and this great city become the bond that it did well, I mean, you gotta blame Tom Coughlin. <laughs> he started it. He, he brought, brought me here. here. Yeah, he brought me here. So, um, you know, when, you, when you're 23 years old, newly married, I mean, you had no, I had no idea that I'd love this place the way I do. Uh, I was fortunate that we came to Florida because we're near a beach, and that was important to my wife. And so, happy wife, happy life. So that's been good. Um, I think being the first pick and the way the fans embraced me and we had success and I've just always embraced this place. I love golf. I love the weather. I love the community. Um, it's a family feeling here. And so I just, this is home. I mean, I remember when we left for a couple of years when we never thought we'd come back because I was, you know, after the expansion stuff, after being gone a couple of years, I looked at my wife and I'm like, we don't belong anywhere but Jacksonville. That's where our people are. And so we came back. I can tell when we were all in Canton, you were overwhelmed by how many Jacksonville, I know you said it earlier, but you were overwhelmed, weren't you, by how many Jacksonville people were there? Yeah, that was awesome because it's, it, as you know, it's not free to get there. Yeah. <laughs> it costs money. It's not the easiest place to get to. Um, and the thousands of people that took time out of their lives, spent their resources to invest in that time with me, it meant the world to me. I'll never forget it. And every time somebody uh, I see on the street here in Jacksonville comes up and says, hey, I was in Canton. I make sure I stop and like let them know how important that was to me. The, uh, you talked about Tom Coughlin. You mentioned and have mentioned often that there's other, there's more teal you want to see get to Canton. Tom, we've talked about Fred, we've talked about Jimmy. How do you feel about the candidacy of others? Does everybody belong in? 
Well, I mean, it, it's a tough process, that's for sure. I mean, I mean, Tom Coughlin, I don't know how he's not like going up this year or whenever he's eligible. I think he's eligible now. Um, what he did here, but what he did in New York. I mean, he won two Super Bowls, took two teams to the AFC Championship, beat a, built a franchise from the ground up. He's truly one of the greatest coaches ever. Uh, and then you look at what Fred did on the field as a running back. Just go watch the tape. Go ask any guy who played against him. Go ask any guy who um, had to block for him. Uh, his statistics back it up um, outside maybe the touchdowns, but there's a reason for that. If you go back in history, you know this. That for whatever reason, he got pulled out on the goal line. But there was not a more dam dynamic player in the NFL, and I, I think Fred deserves it. He should be there. And then, you know, for Jimmy Smith, I always come down to – I look at how guys who have to play these people – respond and nobody could cover Jimmy and they knew it and if it was one-on-one -on -one outside with a single eye safety we were checking to a pass and it was probably going to Jimmy and he was a dominant player and you know it was a different offense this different era so his numbers are not going to be where the receivers are today but again ask the players ask the coaches who had to try to stop him and uh, I think it's clear that those guys are the best some of the best to ever play. Tony, the Weavers brought you here, as you said, Tom and the Weavers. But you developed a real relationship with Shad and his family. I can see that. You speak to it a lot. And, and I know he was very involved in some of the celebration part and, and really went out of his way to make it good, didn't he? That's a cool relationship. Yeah, I think um, what the Jaguars did for me during this Hall of Fame and, and for me talking to other players and teams in the Hall of Fame is really unprecedented. The investment they made, the, the, you know, the party they threw, it started in L.A. Um, it's continued to go on. And Shad and Ann and Tony and Shauna, they weren't the owners when I was here, as everyone knows, Wayne and Dolores, who I love them as well. But they embraced me like we're part of their family. And, and Mark Lamping's right there with it. I mean, between the, the leadership here and the way they've treated me since they took over has been, has been first class. I'm thankful for it. Um, and I'm just hoping, now I'm hoping this is the start that we can get Shad some uh, wins and maybe get a championship here for him one day. And that's the next question. Trevor's here. He looks like a different quarterback. Doug Peterson's a really good coach. How do you feel about the direction here? Well, I think they're they're moving right where they need to go. I, you know, I think we all got spoiled when we were two and one with those two big road games and a game we thought we should have won opening day. But it's hard to win. It's hard to change the culture. It's hard to change the course. And this thing was broken um, before Doug got here. It, it had a lot of damage. I think. Uh, you know, have, we have talent, but you have to have more than just talent in this league. You have to have a good team. You have to have the right culture. You have to have the right leadership. And I think Doug Peterson's that, and I think Shaw did get it right with him. And so people are frustrated. Um, I know we want more wins. We all do. But I think this is going in a direction where everyone's going to be really excited at what's here in the future for this team. Final thing. You're a Hall of Famer forever. It's not a one-year thing. You get to do it forever. You get to wear that. You're, you're in the club now. But I sense knowing you and watching you, that there's a responsibility that comes through, through with that, isn't there? Speak to that just for a second because yeah. it changes, doesn't it? Well, I, I think for me it will probably change a little bit less only because I felt that responsibility from the first day I got here as the first overall pick of the franchise. It was an expansion team. This place was crazy. We're so excited. And I felt it when I got here. It's like, hey, don't screw this thing up. And it's I got to perform on the field, but it's also – um, what, I, what we do in the community and, and being good people that are an addition to Jacksonville because it was a great place before I got here. Let's be an addition. And we've always viewed that way, that we do have a responsibility. And obviously the Hall of Fame adds another. Um, and so I've said from day one, I, I represent my faith in Jesus. I represent my family. I represent this organization. I now represent the game of football in the Hall of Fame. And I always hopefully represent this city the right way. Tony, I've watched you go through this. I've watched the whole nine months. All your friends have. Other parties have been great, so yeah. keep doing it. I think it's great. But I've watched you go through this. And I think the football stuff's great. That's why you're there. But I think you've knocked that, that part of it out of the park, the, the, the accessibility, the, the dignity with which you have to handle it. I think you've been great. It's been a great ride. I think you've deserved every bit of it. Congratulations. I mean that sincerely. Thanks, Frank. Appreciate it.